This show is brought to you by Sabic Agrinutrients profits plunge 61% and Saudi's Extra cancels its Egypt expansion plans. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Saudi Arabian fertilizers maker Sabic Agrinutrients saw a 61% plunge in Q1 profit year on year to $261.5 million. The company says the fall in profit is due to a nearly 40% decline in average selling prices of its products. Sabic Agrinutrients saw a 92% year on year surge in its full year net profit for 2022 to $2.7 billion thanks to higher sales volume and prices. Saudi's United Electronics company known as Extra is discontinuing its expansion plans in Egypt. The expected negative financial impact of shelving the expansion is $10.13 million, according to its Bourse statement. In 2021, the Saudi consumer electronics company announced plans to establish its first subsidiary outside the GCC in Egypt. Egypt's economy has been further shaken by the Ukraine war, which rocked tourism, raised commodity prices and prompted foreign investors to pull $20 billion from its financial markets. AD Ports Group is expanding its fleet by purchasing five bulk carriers and three crude oil tankers. The five bulk carriers will be purchased for $125 million from Safe Powertech. They'll move cargo from Fujairah Port, Bangladesh, India, Southeast Asia and other global destinations. The three crude oil tankers will be purchased for $135 million as part of a vessel pooling agreement with a subsidiary of Kazakh National Oil Company for the transport of crude oil internationally. UAE Bid Oasis Crypto Exchange has received the first broker-dealer minimum viable product or MVP license from Dubai's crypto regulator Vera. Bid Oasis received provisional approval to start the licensing process in March 2022. It means Bid Oasis can now provide broker-dealer services to qualified retail and institutional investors from its headquarters in Dubai under Vera's regulatory regime. No firm has yet been licensed under the full market product stage. In the latest banking failure, U.S. financial authorities have taken possession of California's troubled First Republic Bank. It will be acquired by J.P. Morgan Chase. First Republic is the second largest bank by assets to collapse in U.S. history. It's been in free fall since disclosing last week that it lost more than $100 billion in deposits in Q1, causing shares to plummet. It's been under heavy pressure since the bankruptcies in March of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank sparked fears of contagion. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes Real Time Billionaires Ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people and modest fluctuations today with some Asian markets closed. Our biggest winner is Japanese sensor and electronic component billionaire Tekemitsu Tegizaki. He's up $565 million now with net wealth of $21.6 billion. Our second biggest winner today is German publishing module Hubert Berda. He's up $503 million with net wealth of $4.8 billion. And our third place winner is Japanese Nippon paint billionaire Goh Cheng Liang. He's up $288 million with net wealth of $14.7 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. And staying with billionaires, Alibaba Group co-founder Jack Ma has been invited to join the University of Tokyo's Tokyo College as a visiting professor. Ma began the new position today and the appointment term is set to finish at the end of October, but the contract is renewable. The billionaire entrepreneur will give lectures on entrepreneurship, management and innovation. Ma has a real-time net worth of $23.7 billion, according to Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.